the costly ointment of Mary. She, she had this year's worth of salary, of increase, of wages, and she invested it into this priceless ointment. And, you know, they didn't have screw-top lids. They just, it was, it was in a sealed container that once it was broken, you had to quickly use it because there was no, there was no reusing it. And she had this ointment, and, and there was something inexplainable. It was what she did offended everybody in the room. I, I mean, the disciples were looking at, I mean, they realized she just took $60,000 worth of ointment and just poured it all over Jesus. And it could have been sold. They could, it could have helped the ministry. It could have fed the poor. It could have done so many things. And it's, it's crazy how often we, we don't discern a given situation the way he does. He saw it completely different. He saw, he saw that offering completely different than everybody else in the room. And she was concerned with one thing. If you can imagine, she wasn't thinking about, you know, um, you know some personal breakthrough or something. She just wanted to give something of value to him. So she grabbed her moment and she broke that thing. She poured it over his feet and wiped it in with her hair. And just this, this moment, in fact, the Bible says, what she did will be spoken of throughout eternity. So everybody in this room, when you get to heaven, one of the individuals you're gonna to wanna to have a conversation with is that lady because her story is still being echoed throughout eternity. It made such a mark on eternity that it is, it's like a high water mark. It's like what she did impacted the course of history for nation after nation after nation. Just a simple vial of ointment that she broke to honor Jesus. But the part that Dick brought to our attention was that when she left the house that day. She smelled the same as Jesus. She gave it all to him. But she left smelling just like he did. She poured it all on him, wiped it in with her hair. But when she left the house that day, she also smelled like a million dollars. And there's something about this life that we live, where we grab our moments and we give the most expensive thing, the most difficult thing, where we yield, where we break, where we take that which is priceless and we just simply say, it's all for you. And Jesus said, that's right. And I'm all for you. And something happens in that transaction. Well, I never intended it to be about me, he seems to just entrust himself to me more. I can't explain that one. I, I'm not sure I even know what I'm talking about. But I do know it's true. In fact, let me rephrase that. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I know that he entrusts himself to those who will embrace mystery, live as a child, be a true worshiper, not make it about themselves, but truly, let's honor the name Jesus.